Hey guys, it's Tessa. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I dye and replace my glue strips on my tape in hair extensions and also install them. So let's get started. Let's do this. I like to place some foil down on the work surface just to protect it from any other dye. Brushing the hair dye onto the extensions, making sure that it's fully saturated on both sides. Don't forget to turn over the extensions so you know you won't miss any bits. If you guys are interested in purchasing the hair dye that I am using, I will put the link in the description box for you along with a discount code so you can get some money off. extensions are completely saturated with the hair dye then wrap in the foil and leave for 45 minutes don't forget to rinse the hair dye out with cold water this helps prolong the color and keep them bright so once you've dyed the extensions I find if you get the glue strips wet they will no longer be very sticky and they won't hold very well in your hair so we're going to replace the glue strips I am using the ProFlex 2 hair extension tape and they come in little packs like this and they're already cut so it's nice and handy ready to be applied onto the extensions so before you apply the new glue strip onto the tape in hair extensions you need to remove the old glue strip so I find the easiest way to do this is to just run your thumb across the top of the extension when you keep doing this the old glue strip will just kind of roll away And there you go, now the new glue strip is ready to be applied onto the tape and hair extension. I like to bend the plastic that the glue strips are kept on. I find it easier to tear away each strip at a time when doing this. Otherwise you could get a load of strips coming off at once and it can be a little bit of a waste. So bending the plastic is a great little tip to help you remove each strip. Also using some tweezers to pull off the glue strip is very handy. If you use your fingers, sometimes your fingers can have oils on them that will not make the strip so sticky. So using a pair of tweezers makes the job a lot easier. Nice and easy, there we go, that is one extension done. Now moving on to the rest of the extensions, I'm just going to use my thumb to take away the old glue strip and then replace with the new one. So to save time, instead of doing each extension individually, I'm just going to remove all the glue strips from each of the pieces first and then replace the glue strips. So repeating the process I did on the first one, I'm just taking my tweezers and then taking off the glue strip from the plastic sheet, then placing it onto the top of the extension and pressing down firmly so it's nice and secure. Now I'm going to do this onto all the pieces of the hair extensions, then they will be ready to be applied onto the hair. have been replaced you should have something that looks like this now they're ready to be installed so if you're wondering what type of hair dye I use to dye the extensions I use Arctic Fox Periwinkle and Girls Night which is a semi-permanent hair dye I also diluted the dye a little bit with the Arctic Mist Diluter to create this beautiful pastel shade and there we go the extensions are ready to be installed so I'm going to show you guys how I install the extensions as well so the first thing you want to do is you want to part the hair where you want the extension to be and just clip the rest of your hair out the way. 
Taking the tape off of the glue strip and then placing it down where you've just parted the hair. Pressing it firmly onto the head. Taking a tail comb, I'm just going to lift that extension up so now we can see the hair that it's picked up from the glue strip. Flip that extension over so you can see the other side. Now the trick to installing the extensions is you don't want to pick up too much hair, otherwise when you sandwich the other piece of the extension together, it won't hold so well. So I'm just using my tail comb so we have a good amount of hair stuck onto that glue strip and we have a nice straight parting. Now taking another tape in extension, remove the tape and place it onto the sticky side of that first extension. And press firmly together and there we go, that's how you install a tape in hair extension. Now unclip the hair and pull down and see if you're happy with the position. And that is how we create extra length and thickness. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and I will see you lovelies very soon. Bye guys!